Queen Bee here. Welcome to the channel. Welcome back to some more Dawn of Man, where we are uh, we are continuing in the Mesolithic era. We're forging forward to the Neolithic. We've bought, um, we've used tech buy points to buy some of our tech, and for the most part, though, we've bought um, a variety of tech in the last episode. From our trader, we've just got um, Dog Domestication, which we still haven't unlocked, and Pulse Processing. So uh, we are starting now to make a little bit of bread, which is quite cool. I like that. It really eases the burden um, of, uh, of hunting. Although I do see over here, we have some kitty cats and I kind of feel like it would be rude not to go and take those guys on so let's uh, let's go and do that well hang on let's uh, bring these guys together and say go and kill that kitty cat there we go where, where are you running come back over here and we'll kill this one as well There we go. So we've just taken down three cave lions. We've got a knowledge point because uh, we've now killed 10 in total in the game. Okay, so quick uh, stock check. We are doing well on food. We are slowly gathering up as much stone as we can because we're going to need that a lot later in the game. We are also starting to chop down a few trees because when we go into the next era we are going to want to put up fortifications and our first level of fortifications will be wood so we need a lot of wood right now we've only got one axe so i am going to come over to my crafter and i'm going to say crafter please craft up a few more axe and I'll set some of these trees to just be cut down. Perfect! That's a bit of a waiting game. I'm going to crack on with uh, taking out some more stone. Always with more stone. Um, and on that note, let me have a look at how our piles are doing. Mm, we could do with a bit more storage, I think. So for now, I'm just going to put down... couple more stone piles and just a couple more wood piles as well brilliant I'm gonna come in here I'm just gonna take a peek we've only got 12 sleds hmm only got one child as well interesting oh but look our welfare is up and our prestige is slowly growing we don't need any more sleds we've still got like five here and used at the moment over here a raucous mm -hmm. and they're not hideously far are they guys if you uh, if you get lost on the map and you can't remember where your people are uh, so we've got some bison there as well mm -hmm. but yeah if say you're over here and you're like oh my god where is where is my base how do i get back to my base just press return and it will bring you back um we're just gonna leave this go see where those auroras go whether they come a little bit closer to us but at the moment we've got a storm going so we'll just let them do what they need to do what have we got here a pig uh, select a few people let's say h okay we've got plenty of folks let's bring them over here get them to kill this pig all together there we go Ooh, right what's this we've got a very an adult male bison but it's it, i think one hit and it's down guys so let's grab a few hunters we'll send them over here that is a nice opportunity 
just wandered into our path. It's all alone. And um, it's it's out. It's down and out. Right, let's bring them all down here. Get them all together. Right. Come on, guys. Where's this Sororcus? Where is he? Oh, here he is. There we go. Trader has arrived. What has he got in his pockets? Is? Not much. I'm going to buy the bone. We can convert that. Everything else, I think. Yeah, we're kind of doing okay now. Um, so we're just going to leave that. There's nothing else that we want. Oh, we didn't buy that bone, did we? Um, we will now. And what will we trade for it? Right now we can perhaps trade a couple of straw. Okay, we can. S that bone cost us three, but we can still convert that bone. And we can convert it into a harpoon and sell it back to him for seven. Another Aurorcus over here. Oh, no. Here we go. There we go. Down and out. Marvellous. When they're swimming, they, they go a lot slower. It's a really nice opportunity, if you can catch them swimming, to take them down. Wow, look at this. New human joined the settlement. So population reached 20, so plus three knowledge. And milestone unlocked expansion. Plus two knowledge. Ah, oh, doesn't it look pretty? Really good. I'm gonna just pop over here and I'm gonna check out how my storage tents are looking. We've still got a little bit of space, that's great. Gonna put up one more hut, I think. We've got plenty of uh, points for when we forge ahead. We're going to be able to unlock a whole load of stuff immediately, which is going to be great. But uh, yeah, for now, I want to just see if we can buy a little bit more from the trader. Right, we've got a cave lion coming in. Come on, guys, deal with it. You can do this. Excellent. Oh, guys, don't run away from us. Okay, stop. All of you, come down here. All right, that's down. Let's bring these guys over here. Kill the bison. There we go. There's more bison over here, so come and kill these. They've taken out that cave lion, which is cool. So, yeah, we'll just we'll get them to take that bison out. And if we put this cave lion to be... Guys, take the bison. Is he running off? He is. Ah, oh. right, okay. Cancel that hunt. And we'll send them back. Because they are a little bit away. Right, anything that we can... No... No tech. We're going to have to wait for the next trader. We are going to swap out some straw. Okay. And that gives us some more bones with which we can um, we can turn into harpoons. Marvellous. Now we've got a skull pulp. Let me double check what we can... Uh, we haven't got a totem, have we? 
That will get us another point. We have no picks. Okay. Ah. Pop my totem. Hmm. Up on this little hill, I think. Like that. We have no picks. We are going to craft some more up right away. So we go one, two, three, four, five. You do not want to rush your way into the Neolithic period, guys. You want to be very uh, cautious. You want to make sure that you've got plenty of people. You want to make sure that you've got plenty of tech so you can unlock what you need to unlock when you get in there. So it will be uh, a serial domestication, 100%. We'll also go for fortifications. We'll probably go for underground mining as well. Possibly thatching. So, I mean, there's so much. And then there's goat domestic. Oh, flipping Nora. There's so much in the next in the next era. But uh, we just want to take it gingerly, steadily, and build up as many resources in this era as we can. Trade has arrived. Very good. That's what we like. Uh, let me slow everything down. Where is he? Or she? Oh, behind there. Right, what you got? <gasps> Grain! Pulse, po pulse processing. We like that. Okay, 168. Mm. Right, we've got two flint sickles, so we'll sell that. We'll sell that. 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 There we go. Marvellous. Pulse processing unlocked. And we'll let... Uh, who's... Where's this attack going on? Okay, yeah. This is revenge, is it? Yeah. We'll take you down. Um, okay, so we go... Nice. Okay, let them do what they need to do to the cave bear. Uh, that was really nice. Really nice. Uh, we've got loads now. Loads of meat. We've also got a capacity of um, 27. So we've still got four slots. They're a little bit ticked off because they've been made to walk a long way and do a lot of stuff, but it'll be worth it, guys. It'll be worth it. Oh, damn, no. I swam across the river. Oh, damn it. Cool. Fair structure. Cool. Cool, cool. Got a load more bones coming in, which is awesome. We're going to push this on. Right, so 15. We've got another, what? 32. So we've got another 17 points, which means we can unlock this, we can unlock that. Do you know, I'm going to wait on the dogs. I'm going to unlock fortifications and I'm going to unlock. Underground mining, and then after that, we're going to unlock that chink. Whoa, someone's died of old age. Fortifications unlocked. Cave lion and cereal. Whoa, look at all of these things popping up. So, yeah, because we've unlocked uh, cereal domestication, farming allows you to automate production of food and sustain more people in your settlement. Um, you can plant a variety of crops, then harvest them, etc. etc. So, we are now into the Neolithic era and we want to get our fortifications up and running and we also want to be um <gasps> look guys let's get this paused yeah we also want to be um putting down some farms farm plots but first off let us go 
over here and kill a woolly mammoth. Uh, kill a woolly mammoth. A woman. And kill a woolly rhino. Bless him. Here they come. We've got him. Out for the count. Wonderful. Okay. We need a couple more flint sickles. So let's sort that out. And I think, oh, what do we want to do? This would have been a good farming area, duh. Um, don't want them to be farming too far away from home. So I think I'm gonna get this area cleared. I'll get these gone. I'm going to throw down one Emma area there. And we're going to throw down one barley. like that. We're not going to do any more than that because we've only got limited people. We are low on harvesting tools. Yes, we are. We are now going to put our sickles onto craft. And we're going to throw up a work area to chop down all these trees like so. We've got a nice amount of meat though. Look at that. That's brilliant. I'm going to push this on. There's a lot they need to do. Not least the harvesting tools. And we've got a trader coming in. What can we buy off him? Has he got dog domestication? He has! Marvellous. Uh, 130. We could do that. We could totally do that. We can go 70. 119. 129 and we'll give him one straw. Okay, marvellous. So, all we need now is uh, dog training. Now, how am I going to want to do my... Hmm, I'm not sure. How am I going to want to do my, my fortifications? This is a nice flat area which I would love to use for farming but I think my farms are going to be dotted around back here. This area here is going to be my defensive area. Trader's arrived. What has he got in his pockets is? He's got dog training for 140. I'm going to give him some bows. And then we'll craft up some bows because, quite frankly, it is just easier. Now, did I get deep mining? I did. So we're going to put down a nice flint mine, guys. There we go. Flint mine. There we go. We can chuck that in. These structures are going in. I want to just chop down that oak tree. And the cherry tree. And I'm going to come back here and we'll pop this in here. Like that. And that one will go in here. 
like that. And this will come, will that come across? It won't come across there though. And then all of this, I'm just going to cancel off. Now, a lot of people, uh, uh, they comment, they say, oh my God, my, my structures, they don't go up as quick as yours. Uh, it must be um, because I'm on console and you're on PC. It's not that at all, guys. What it is, is you haven't collected the resources in the first place. If you collect the resources, then your structures are going to go up super, super fast. You also need to aim to be building either in winter or summer. Uh, because during, uh, I mean, my workload isn't that bad at the moment. Uh, and it wasn't bad in, in spring because I've only got these two fields. But when you've got lots of fields, you are not going to be wanting your people building structures whilst they should be out there sowing your fields. So, yeah, let's just let them crack on, shall we? I'm actually going to cancel off. Two, three, one, two, three, let's go one, two, three, recycle those, and then we'll come around here and go, let's get rid of those ones as well. We can also remove that work area and push on. Now it does look, doesn't it, like, oh look, there's a little dog. Oh, and he's been, he's been, oh, he's been with the old guy who's just died. Is he, is he sad? I think he might be. Okay, so yeah it looks like all of our sledges are in use so we're just going to come back in here and you kind of want one for every adult although they weren't using that many now they are starting to pick up the pace on uh, on usage so we will just craft up a load more So yeah, these are the these are the primaries. You're obviously going to spec into serial domestication. That's the only way you can unlock the Neolithic period. Then you're going to want to start building your fortifications. You should, during these periods, be racking up the stone, racking up the wood. You don't need stone for this these fortifications, but you will need it for these ones down here. So it's really good to just get a nice a nice stockpile as you go along. It makes life a lot easier. So, um, yeah, your domestication, you plant a couple of fields, a couple of fields will suffice, your fortifications, you get a nice fortification up, and underground mining, you can then start to um, use these mines that you had exhausted a flint, um, you can now deep mine them, which is great. So while all of this is going up, I'm just going to talk to you about um, why I'm doing this fortification. Normally I'll fortify my entire settlement, but I found that that's not necessary. It's, uh, it, it's far more cost effective, use less resources if you have a separate area. When you blow your horn, when you're under attack, which you will be later on in the game, you blow your horn, everyone's going to run inside this area anyway so nobody's going to get hurt and the raiders are going to aim for your people they're going to make a beeline for your people so they'll make a beeline for this structure and for the most part none of this will get affected and uh, you can you can have everybody in this area and um and safe which is a key thing without having to spend all those here we go. Oh, damn it. Okay, so we've only got like a handful of people coming, which is, is absolutely fine. We've got this. We've totally got this. So we don't need to blow the horn, but if we, if we did have our fortifications up by now, we would 
I mean, we will blow the horn to alert them that there's a raider attack. But, um, yeah, if we blew that horn and our fortifications were up, they would run inside here anyway. But as it is, these bastards, they've come during autumn, of course they have. Everyone's going to run. All the kids are going to go inside. They're running to get all of their tools. We have no picks. It's fine. We've got plenty of spears. We've got bows and arrows. And we're going to we're gonna send them over here. They're going to be coming. They look like they're coming to this this pass here where they can get through the water easy we're just gonna we're gonna make sure that they don't let's get them all over here right let me We'll watch this from the raiders' perspective, shall we? So we've got one, two, three, four raiders. It's a real easy one. They're coming, as you can see, they can walk through here. And we've got our people there ready to beat the bejesus out of them. So let's get rid of that horrible notification and we'll just play on. Uh, and look, they are they're really primitive on what they've got. And none of our people got killed, but but the raiders got wrecked. <laughs> oh, so that's what the slings look like. Okay, right, let's escape out of that. We've got no picks. We're going to craft some up. We're going to uh, turn our horn off, let everyone get back to work. We'll craft up what, a few more picks. Yeah. Now, I am going to unlock thatching, and then I'm going to go into goat domestication, I think. So, uh, fast forward. Come on, guys, get this all in. Get it in, get it done. Brilliant. Best harvest. Best true harvest. Now, I'm going to send a few people over here. Uh, they can kill the bear. And then we'll get these boars. That will help. Now, at this point, I'm not going to add in any more building, like any more huts. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come to here and I'm saying, um, I'm going to be saying upgrade to a hut, uh, which will which will be plus one capacity. Uh, and to do that, what we need to do is we need to gather some mud. So we put down a gathering area, all mud, and we'll say gather up to 50 mud and put two people on that. This is going up nicely. Very nicely. Okay, yeah, our sledges are slowly biting the dust so let's craft up what five more one uh we'll hold shift and then we can craft up more than one at a time like that brilliant brilliant so we've got 15 food right now that we're, we're making bread guys what you want to do is come into your limits so you can manage limits and look for your production limit is set to 20 units. I'm going to put my production limit of flour to 10 units and bread the same. Because if you make one, one for one, so one for each member of the population, some of them are going to be eating fish, some of them are going to be eating vegetables and some are going to be eating meat. And the bread goes off really super quick. The grain, however, does not go off. So if you end up converting everything into this, 
and then into that and these guys get wasted and go off and can't be used you've wasted all your grain if you keep it as grain and only um only convert a little bit at a time in terms of flour and bread you've you've got nice stockpile for for an eventuality whereby your the shit hits the fan and you're needing to feed all of your population by grain alone so that's that's certainly my approach and it seems to work very well and we've got some um we got some cave lions and we are going to be very opportunistic and we're going to say go and kill these bad boys Any more? Right, there's one there. Want that one dead as well, please. See, he can't attack us. Cannot attack us while uh, while he's swimming. There we go. That's that's really good. And if you have a look here, you can see that my dog came along with the hunting party, which is awesome. That, is that a baby one? It's a young male. We'll leave him. So we've got six, um, six mud. So I think to I think to end this, what we're going to do is we're going to come in here. And we're going to say upgrade this one to a hut, and you can have a peek at what it's going to look like. Okay, and you'll see now because it's harvest, it's uh, planting season. Our workload has gone through the goddamn roof, and we're being told our workload is too high, and that will cause stress, and it absolutely will. But once we're not building this, it'll be a totally different thing. Let us have a look. Let's see them build. Oh, much better, much better, guys. So there we go, our first upgraded hut. So we're nicely into the uh, the Neolithic era now. Oh, let's see our crafter crafting away. It's awesome. It's such a fun game. Okay, so yeah, we're nicely into the Neolithic era. It looks like we've got everything planted. Our fortifications are almost up. Let's see what the trader's got. He's got goat domestication. Now, I don't know if we can do this. I think it's going to leave us really sparse if we do that. So we're not going to. We're going to just, um, we're going to purchase goat domestication. And we're just going to push this on. Let us get to a point where we have, um, we have our fortifications in place. Next thing. Our fortifications are almost completely up, so we're going to put in a gate. We're going to do the same here. Now, as of the uh, the last update, you can actually put these on an angle. You can have really organic uh, fortifications, but for the purpose of the tutorial, I am just going to go with a bog standard square. I think we've got just that there. And we'll push on. Okay, guys. Um, our fortifications are up and they are running. How cool is that? Let's have a look at our trader. Just uh, check out what he has for sale. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really, yeah, I'm not going to do this. Not yet. Maybe. Two hundred and fifty. Hmm. One, two, three. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. 
Okay. So we've unlocked Pulse Domestication, which is not what I was going to do, but um, it was there, it was for sale, and we are crafting up some more those. So that's that's kind of okay with me. I'm going to come in and craft up a few more knives as well, because it's telling me to. And ready for winter, because your pulses are... They're planted in winter, so we're just going to, what should we chuck in? Some bitter vetch. Uh, we will just pop that there for now, just the one. And that's where we're going to leave it. We've got our fortifications in, we've fended off our first raider attack. Our settlement is looking mighty fine. We are, um, we are almost at max capacity with 28 people. We'll... We'll be forging ahead, we'll be upgrading all of these in the next episode, and we will be looking at um, domestication of animals. That's where we're going to go next. So, um, yeah, for this episode, that's it. I, I do hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please take the time to click the like button, and if you haven't done so already, consider subscribing to the channel. In fact, don't consider. Do it. That would be incredible. Um, I will be doing a modded series, but this Let's Play t tutorial is 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 just pure vanilla. Um, trying to help some folks out with with anything. So if you've got any questions, please pop them in the comment section. Any comments at all, anything that you think I should share with people, let me know, and I will get that done. Until next time, guys. You stay safe and take care.